Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Fire Emblem Fates Birthright. We're going to get started on Chapter 21, Burning Falls. Making their way out of Fort Dragonfall, the group continues onwards. Thanks to a map from the Rainbow Sage, they are able to reach a mythical destination. When did we get a map from the Rainbow Sage? I don't remember this happening. Is he going to pop up and just go, here's a map? There wasn't enough discussion there for a map to be given. Oh, we see a King Garen. Tiriago has failed yet again. Pitiful. I'll have to dispose of him one of these days. No matter. Plan B will spring into action any time now. Oh, to see the look on Corrin's face when it does. <laughs> no, father, how could you? Hello, Elise. Might I ask what you're doing out here? Sander, don't spook me like that. Be honest, were you spying on Father? Yes. Elise, you should know better. Father would not be pleased if he found out someone was listening in on him. Even you would likely face some unpleasant consequences. I know it's just... Elise, what's wrong? I don't know what to do. Gorn is gone. Leo is gone. Camilla is so depressed that she hardly ever leaves her quarters. What's happened to our family, Xander? How can we go back to the way things were? Elise, don't worry, yourself. don't worry, sister. When this war is over, everything will go back to normal. Really? But how can you be so sure? Because I believe. That's why I can keep fighting in the face of heartache. We must all believe that what we're doing is for the greater good. We must trust in our cause and fight for it with all we have. That's all we can do, at least for now. I've been waiting for this. We had to take the long way around, but we're finally here. This ferry will t take us right to your childhood home, Corrin. <sighs> I know, I'm having a hard time believing this is really happening. <sighs> yeah, well, don't get too nostalgic or anything. As soon as we step off this boat, there won't be any place to hide. You're right, we should begin preparing for the battle now. There won't be any time to rest once we reach the dock. Hey. Before we get to that, I need to brief you on something, Corrin. Oh. Yes? Yes. Just before we boarded this vessel, I received a message from Yukimura. Huh? We haven't seen Yukimura yet. I'm actually excited about this. How is that possible? Listen. Sent a young Pegasus rider from the bottomless canyon to find us. Both rider and steed appeared exhausted. Sakura is tending to them now. So what was the message? I, uh... Bad news, I'm afraid. Yukimura reports that the royal troops are still holding the line in Hoshido. But it appears that soldiers from Mokushu have joined Nor in attacking us. Sounds like it's only a matter of time till our defenses are breached. No. Gets worse, that message is at least several weeks old. Wouldn't be surprised to find that the situation has deteriorated even further. Hey. Sounds like we don't have much time left. We need to defeat Garen and end this war before all our castle falls. How long until we reach our destination? Well. Another day, maybe two. According to the captain, we need to go far upstream to reach a docking point. Huh? But according to the map that the Rainbow Sage gave us, our destination is directly across the river from us. Why can't we go straight what? there? I'm not sure. The captain indicated didn't indicate that we had any options. See? Look I right will. there. A park mar a port marked on Demon Fall, right on the map. <gasps> Demon's Fall, show me. He's right, it's written in very faintly. You heard of this place, yes. but I believe it to be a legend. They say it's a waterfall made of fire, which seemed too fantastical to be true. Well, well, it's worth checking out. Could save us a few precious days. Uh -huh. Better decide quickly. We're coming up on a fork in the what river. Do you believe it's worth a shot. What do you say, Corrin? Right. I agree. We must act quickly or else there may no longer be a Hoshido to save. I think we're ready to take on anything we might find at Demon's Fall. Who's with me? Is yours. We're all with you, Corrin. I'll inform the captain. Oh! Oh! What? The waterfall is on fire. Yes strange phenomenon, but I can explain how it came to be. Massive reservoir of oil nearby that is wicks with the water. At some point, hundreds of years ago, the river was set aflame. It may have been a lightning strike or an accident, but regardless, it has burned ever since. All of us living in Nor have avoided the general area, for obvious reasons, but naturally there doesn't appear to be any sort of path for us to follow.
Hey. You see that statue over there? Sense the presence of a dragon vein or two. That's what hostile presidents is in that area. So what does these dragon veins do? Open a path or flood the area with lava. Oh. And we finally get to see a stoneborn. They actually have a pretty decent weapon. A rock. Wait, is that the... Oh, okay, I was gonna say, that's a pretty quiet map. Let's begin the fight. Okay, so the hole doesn't have anything special outside of it's probably safe from lava. Or the alternative is it's the place where all the lava is going to go and becomes ridiculously dangerous for lava. So one invader down. I'm actually debating, yeah, so I can move across this lava clearly with the Kinshi Knight. We're going to start working on clearing out some of these enemies with our flyers. We have four in our party. I don't think it'll be a problem. And it doesn't look like the rocks do extra damage to us. Another thing is, we aren't going to be able to make it easily to it, so we're actually going to be throwing Azura onto. Yeah, onto um, Sakura, not Sakura, Anoka, just so that we can use Azura uh, even if we do cross the areas. Yeah, looking at it now, there is quite a bit of lava, but it's a lot of impassable terrain, more than lava. Let's go take out this guy. Newly upgraded rat spirit, but not quite strong enough to take out the master of arms. And I'm worried because if the area floods with lava, becomes way more troublesome. So, makes a bridge. And it looks like it's a 50-50 chance. From the looks of everything, it's going to be a, a difficult path. Maybe the holes are where the lava comes out of. But we will find out as we go, I think. Yeah, those guys have such a huge range. They're gonna have to be ones that we focus pretty quickly. Basically, as soon as we can make it to one. The map is definitely built in their advantage. 100%. Perfect. With the addition of uh, Orochi's help, Takumi can handle it a little faster. Can't complain. Is there a certain blow? What does that do? Grants plus 40% chance to hit when he initiates the attack. Well, alright then. Yeah, Rock is going to hit us regardless of what we're attacking him with. I don't think there's any spot we can stand that we will be safe from rock. But if we have good luck, it might just not hit us. 
and our flyer units are designed to take out rocks, I guess. So it's, it's probably for the best that I did split them up as I did and charged forward. I was like, oh crap, but, oh wait, how come it didn't warn me about you? I guess Warvens aren't considered flying units. I don't understand. Oh, and this guy's a boss. Of course, and he has a massive rock. Well, we'll continue on with our path. Fortunately, at least, I could take out this guy or I can heal. I think, yeah, healing is probably better done with our main. Now, do I have enough range to make it to the, the stone? Oh, and then some. Sweet. One. One point away from being able to kill it. Or, or we could just crit and do 108 damage in a turn. That works for me. Takumi doesn't need the assistance, so we're going to go without swapping it yet. And it looks like in this area we actually don't have a stone to directly... Oh! Ah, there's two of them. To say I can clear out one right here. Oh, and Hanoka can go as well. Alright, I think I got my strategy. Tsubaki, are you strong enough? Not quite. And you've already made your move this turn. Dang. As I say, if I target with Tsubaki. I could take one out and then, um, what is it? Sing and attack him again. Yeah, we're just gonna attack him. And we're gonna do it with the silver Naginata. Because, well, why not? Down he goes. The Venge Katana seems actually a very useful one for any build that happens to rely on, um, what's it called? The, I'm blanking on it right now, uh, on Vantage. Another Silver Naginata attack. Oh, we actually took some damage there. Yeah, one hit killed. I kind of expected that. I keep bringing my flyers in areas, like they put the archers there because they're not, like we're not supposed to come in that way. But even still. I should really be taking things a lot slower than I have been. As much as I'm loving the flying units, they do have way too much weaknesses to, to use how I use them. Oh, this is gonna hurt. You heal on holes somehow? Well, I'll heal there then. I guess it's just you're not completely doomed.
Not quite close enough to heal uh, Subaki from where we were. Oh, random new enemy spawn. They seem to have come out of the hole. a smart plan from here uh, as it stands I do want to try to take out the rock guy but they are more defensive base which means magic is what's recommended and I don't have any magic unit I can get remotely near um, alright I can move you to there can I get you, you, know, you can't go anywhere near there. For now, we'll take the free hits on the Great Master. Our goal is just to get them out of harm's way. there because it might be best to just have her get supported and take the trip also going to support the Kenji Knight with uh, Rinka just one less person to move more turns and the few extra points of damage will be helpful oh god so many attackers Spirit is as best, I guess. don't like that it just kind of traps you here and you're stuck until the game decides to let you continue. Especially because it's infinitely summoning enemies too. That was not what I wanted to see, especially because I don't have a mage really set up for this. Miracle, so it lives. Yeah, this fight quickly, quickly got out of hand.
heal Sakura. And then I'm actually going to support Corrin with Sakura. It's a weird um, thought process, but it should work in this case. I'm going to go here and sting, get Corrin back, able to move. Because the Dragonstone is considered a magic attack. So the extra four points to magic is going to be helpful. I think the hard part is having to keep the holes covered. Because that's the only way that the enemies won't spawn out of them, it looks like. And it looks like you can also pretty quickly lose if you don't keep them covered correctly. What's gonna happen to Rinka? Cause, oh, it just pushes her to the nearest space she could stand. Yeah, she's dead. That doesn't surprise me either. This fight really did not go well, and it looks like we've officially got the path to continue now available. All right. I've lost enough units, I probably should just call this this tri track a failure, but... I'm one square shy of being able to make it. I'll just, I'll put real with it. Who else is, oh, the other ones who are guarding the, the holes. It looks like it is an infinite spawn, it is, it summons three. Which, now that I know that, is a lot more survivable. But we're still gonna take out these guards because they need as, like, we need to take out as many as possible. And it doesn't summon two dragon veins, it only summons the one. Voice of voice of peace. Oh, well, that's nice. Which means you're guaranteed to get it this second round. However, I don't want to summon it yet because, well, we're in a bad spot for most of this. And actually, we're not in too bad of a location. Oh, it summoned it over there? Not where I expected. All right, in the next part, we're gonna continue on trying to make our trek through here. And we may just be ferrying people across these gaps because having the enemies actually get summoned there made that a lot, a lot harder. See you guys then.